Hello and welcome. So we are back here at AUT University in the Exercise Physiology Lab. So last week we started the testing and we had that same protocol where we did the four by five minute step test with those incrementals, incremental increase in intensity at a submaximal level, then those six three minute reps that were a bit more hearty with the last three pretty much full out intensity. Before that, it was fasted. We're back here today and there's been a slight difference that I've had a different pre-exercise breakfast, which was today was protein and a little bit of fat. So do you wanna talk a little bit more about that, Jeff? Sure, yeah. So like I said, last week was fasted. Today we're looking at the effects of protein. Uh, so it was about basically one scoop of whey protein with a few scoops of peanut butter. And the way we, the reason for that is, is it's gonna be the same amount of calories as he's gonna get next week, which is gonna be entirely from carbohydrate. And so that's gonna be a gram of carbohydrate per kilogram of body weight. So this way we have the same amount of overall calories, but it's gonna become, uh, it's coming from protein in the amount that would typically be consumed, like basically again, one scoop. And then with the fat to fill in the difference to it, we match calories. So there you go, so same thing, gonna in for a bit of world of pain in those last three minute intervals. So let's get rocking. One of the biggest reasons people perform fasted training is to try to burn more fat. But one of the reasons people don't want to perform fasted training is because they get hungry. So what, it, what we might see happen with this protein group, the protein and fat, is that you burn the same amount of fat during exercise, but obviously you're a lot less hungry. So that's one of the uh, potential benefits of this kind of thing. So we've just done the first part of the stay of this of today, which is day two. Um, that was just the five minute submaximal stages. So I started at 160 watts, finished at 306, which was a little bit hard, but nothing too crazy. Um, we were looking at mostly some of the metabolic characteristics in terms of VCO2, VO2, and specifically that respiratory exchange ratio, which is showing like carbs versus fat usage. And now we're going to get into something a bit more pointy, which is the six three minute intervals with the last first. Three at around threshold power, last three full, full noise, so here we go. It'll be interesting to see, we're gonna see how much, uh, how, what his average watts were with the, through those intervals, and we'll see how it compares to the fasted week from last week, and we'll see how it compares next week to the carbs. All right, so. That was second time through, and I think it was, well, it certainly wasn't any easier than the last week. It was pretty hard, especially the last rep going all out. I think I was like five beats below my max heart rate, so yeah, it was pretty tough. But yeah, so two down, one more to go. Next week, doing something very, very extraordinary in testing, in that I'm going to eat some carbohydrates before it. So there you go. So stay tuned. Exciting. Oh, my God. 